Hello and welcome to my first macro masterclass. Sounds a bit grand, but uh, what I'm trying to do is to show you macros in action. Uh, so I'm going to do some editing. It's a rather staged perhaps, but it will illustrate what's possible. And I've got a new toy. Um, so if I bring in the here we go. Uh, it will show you that uh, I've just used the macro titles reveal. So if I show you my next heading, um, it will tell you that I'm using the showing you the name of each macro listed and titles reveal has changed colour because I've run it again and again. So uh, that might help. So. What I'm going to do is uh, put the list of macros that you see operated um, onto a file uh, in my documents directory so you can have a look at that uh, if you want to see which macros might be useful to you. So uh, that's it, yeah, so um, there we go. So that's that. Now let's have some text uh, that we can work on. And I'm, when I'm working, I've always got my Start, uh, switch list here. So when I'm using um, multi-switch, which I use a lot, then my, my list of uh, various words and phrases and things is always to hand. Okay, let's see how we get on. So uh, here are several systems for each which the nature of bonding are based. Well, that should be is based. Uh, so for that, obviously, we can use multi-switch. Uh, based on the on oh on the same, so we want a the there. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Taking into account the operate, well that's always meant to be operating conditions, and the ah this a uh, figure we want that to be a number. Okay, uh, generator the separation would take place more than three people. Uh, well we like s rather than seconds. So again, it's a multi-switch that can do that. After the operating of B2 breaker, mm, sounds better if we delete of and switch that round. So after opening the B2 breaker, that flows much better. Uh, the user manual uh, shall, re we get these shells in some of the stuff I work on and so uh, we're going again we're using multi-switch um, I think has to uh, number three there we go has to report the following as so-called major okay so uh, that wants to be hyphenated so called and I think this should have single quotes around it so we do that um, it is prudent to keep it Interacting species separated in space in order to avoid contribution from oh that should be a dash there, okay. Uh, the smart well that's obviously smart meter not not meet, metra, so we switch those round. Uh, select user advice as well. So the source so that the uh, source uh, source no can transmit oh smart me oh it's now two words. So I, sh I join them up. Um, okay, right. But the regular one is referred to with the terms. Um, yeah, I think these could do with uh, single quotes. Single quotes. Um, uh, specific authority and single quotes around those. At the same time, uh, increasing interests and uh, resources, uh, comma which provides environmentally friendly, now we want a, a space there, uh, cost efficient solution to existing power grid system. This is automatic, oh that's a abbreviation the wrong way around, uh, so we swap that uh, model and using scripting, and our JavaScript I think should have a capital S, let's just check, so um, we'll do a Google Fetch, yes, JavaScript, yes, should be capital S. Okay, so um, JavaScript, uh, capital S. Right, um, from the realization, ah, uh, now we want um, a, uh, which one are we? That one, 
Yeah, uh, so that changes the Z, it runs along the line, find the S, turning it into a Z. There's another one here, maximizes, that should be a Z as well. Maximizes. Um, so there's another one. Uh, you can, of course, well, I think we ought to have some commas here. You can, of course, search for things in PDF file. Once the text and word file, you can, oh, there's another one the same. Analyze uh, the red. Uh, and oh, that's the other round, of course. That's going from Z to S. That's why I put that one in there. Um, the signal to noise ratio, uh, signal to noise figure indicates similarity between two signals. The transition at 10 hour oh, now that looks a little funny. I'm not convinced that's a degree symbol. So if I run what char, it tells me yes, it's a lowercase o that is superscripted. Okay, so we don't want superscripted. Um, so we have to switch that off and then let's type a proper degree symbol instead. Okay, um, so on the 10 millimeter, oh, we like um, uh, thin spaces in uh, units there, so we have a thin space, uh, thin space, um, plate, and I've got it, it's, I've got it set so that it actually puts a colour on it so that I know which ones are thin spaces and which ones aren't. Um, there's a number of factors to define. Mm, I think for defining would sound better. Um, so I'm going to use that for defining the probability and dictate. Oh well, I've got to have dictating to match defining. So um, do that one. Okay, uh, right. So this is a list. And now this one's got uh, missed out. This has got sort of pushed over here so um, let's bring that down to there and make that two point oh, not, not a spacer uh, tab ah now it's um, it's not the right format so if I pull the format back uh, from there um, then that will make it the right format uh, now these need changing therefore uh, they need up updating upgrading pulling up anyway one by one Okay, uh, the uncoded or property equal to oh, this is um, this should be um, a, a um, variable. So we have it as um, uh, we don't want that. We want this as subscript. Okay, Orgasius, and these are also need. Uh, where are we? Subscripting. Uh, yeah, H two to four. There we go. O four. Okay. Oh, we've got some more of these. Um, so that's. Um, oops, I didn't want that. I should have put the cursor there first, so that I can do one, two, three of those. Uh, calculate the size of the cone. Uh, the first. Two. Oh, dockerized. Now that looks good. I think I'll go and get that macro. Um, here we go. Uh, I'll load that into my computer, ready for later. I uh, told you, told you this was staged, but anyway. Um, all right, so that's that. Um, so a series of uh, components. Well, I want this uh, with uh, brackets around it, um, so I select it roughly. Uh, put parentheses round. Um, I want that um, as a uppercase AC circuit there we go um, and then finally um, what we've got here is um, a, a track change so let's have track changes on um, th this is the visible one so that if I do it again if I switch track changes off it goes yellow and then comes back to red uh, now you perhaps know that if you uh, change uh, suppose that was spelt wrongly and I put a an E instead of it uh, then it changes the whole thing but if I actually delete a letter and type a new letter then it doesn't um, show the whole thing as a, as a word change and if I want it to look better with a word change to see more easily what's been changed uh, especially if it's if the thing has two changes um, so I just uh, use consolidate tracking um, which get, makes it into a, a word change. Well there we are, I got to the end without too many uh, mistakes so uh, I hope you find that useful. Alright?
Bye for now.